Welcome back to another video everybody this is Scotty and today we're standing outside of the dirt farm because that's where we ended last episode. I figured we'd go over this place a little bit and give you a little tour of what we built down here. This was built at the end of our spooky street and I figured this would probably be a pretty good spooky thing to build down here because it ties right into the theme. One of the things I got wrong is fairly obvious. This is a dirt farm and the ground should be made out of dirt not moss carpets and grass. So I'm going to have to change that out because I was thinking right there's a sign that says dirt. I should have known this should have all been dirt. Another thing I need to correct is these giant towers back here. There should actually be five of them and these should be off-centered a little bit. So we'll go ahead and fix this eventually but not today. And then back here there should be another little lean-to shed next to this as well. We'll get that in here too. And actually over here should be some more broken down cars. We might add those in as well. Inside, I do still have to decorate the inside. You have to should have a kitchen back here. And over here, a dining room. Got the stairs going upstairs. And then this here should be the study. But overall, I mean, it's fairly accurate for a house. Then up here, I need at least three bedrooms to put in place. Probably put one over here where it belongs, one back there. And then the other one will be over here. So I will come back and decorate this place over time. Then another thing I need to add back in is a storage building back here. I completely forgot about putting it here. And then actually with the storage building, I can't put everything in place due to the fact that we are on bedrock right here. So once 1.18 comes in place, we can actually fully build this and finish this. Let's go ahead and head into the barn now and show you what we had in here. So inside we have the Ecto-1. This was a fun little replica to build. It's about as accurate as I could make it. I mean, I probably could have put more details into it, but overall, it is fairly good. And we got our ladder here going up to the roof. Yeah, let's go ahead and go up top. So up top, we're actually using mini blocks here that we can actually walk through to get them offset to the correct height. We've got some more mini blocks down here for the lights. It took approximately four hours to build this map art. I mean, it is mainly white and it probably would have saved time if I built it on snow, but I didn't. We actually have a nice little video that I'll show you here probably at the end of building that. Overall, I'm happy at how the dirt farm turned out. I do need to finish it and add in my light show that I was originally planning for the roof in here. And then we got our little wheat field on the way going out. And it looks like someone jumped on the wheat. So we need to come back and bone meal that to get it back growing, but things happen. We've got our signs here too, which I need to actually add in more. Because there's about three more signs over here that I completely missed. But since we're down here, we'll give you a tour of the street. Here we have an upside down house. Oh. Okay, that's just a mob head. It's not actually one of them. So we got an upside down house here. They did a fairly good job at that. I don't know if I could do a better one or not, but they did a good job. Here we have an escape room where you're supposed to try to break out using only supplies that are given to you with inside. I've actually never tried it. I'll try to do that later on. Here we got a nice little boat filled with slime. Let's see, hit the button, do we get music? Yeah, we do. And it looks like it restarted when I turned the page. They did a great job with this. And yeah, let's not go that way. 
Let's go ahead and go back here. Go over here to this little forest that is built in this back corner. There's supposedly a back room in here that we need to make it to. Let's see if we can make it there. And we got a friend. Okay, let's go and go this way. Once 1.18 comes out, I think it actually darken this place a lot more due to how lighting is going to be changed. Which is going to be nice. You can actually have a lot darker builds and don't have mobs spawning on that. This is a giant maze. We might make it. Is this it? This looks like it. There we go. Okay. So we got this nice little room here. This spooky ceiling. Lots of lights. Got us, let's get rid of him. So now we should be able to look in peace. Okay. We're on the wrong side. There we go. Weatherheads. Lots of spooky lighting. They did a great job back here too. It's amazing the builds on the server. You get lots of inspiration from how people build. Now let's see if we can get out of here. Is this the way? Nope. This is the wrong way. I think we're lost. We should be able to get out of here. There we go, we made it out. Oh, that looks like someone joined the game. We got Smash over there. Oh, they actually showed up before their name said join the game. That's some interesting information to have there. Let's go ahead and head on out of this area here. Got another building here. Then another one over here. And then we got this one here. Oh. And we get hit in the head by him. That wasn't nice. Another building. Got a little tree guy here. And that's about it. As we head up these stairs, we're probably going to go ahead and end our video here. I know it was fairly short, but that's about all the time I had for this week. Next week, we're going to return to the Guardian Farm and fill it in. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.